welcome to the grand illusion, you stupid mother f- <laughs> Okay, but... Don't um, be fooled by the radio! Anyway. Because I've got to be free. Free to huff some vapor rub that's in front of me. On board, there's the Ziglet. So climb aboard. <laughs> he shakes it off. When we do it. <laughs> When we show it. Abacab. Is every Phil Collins song about how he's fucking around on his wife and he's leaving her for this hot chick and don't be mad at me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just kind of like all of his songs, like on the first couple of albums, are just kind of... Well, he says that in his book. Where he basically says every song was about his first two divorces. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, holy God, how did I not notice this before? I'm going to do a professional intro this time. Hey, Are we ready? Are we I'm going to be like Patrick Bateman this time. Yeah, sure. You like sticks? Hello, welcome to... <laughs> My welcome God. to Talking Over Albums, part eight, the Ocho. This week we're doing... Um, okay, I'm sorry. Continue. You're making Ziggy sad. All right. Welcome He's to always talking, sad if you're not. Talking Over Albums... Section 8, housing. I know I promised the last one would be the last, but I'm rescinding my <laughs> termination. <laughs> Screw you, man! Of, of this podcast. We're joined in studio in the Kinnear Lounge by Ziggy, who's staring intently at his master. <laughs> today we're doing... <clears throat> Waiting for me to drop the napalm. <laughs> today we're doing Styx is the Grand Illusion. Because deep inside we're all the same. That's bullshit. We're deep, all different. Deep inside, I'm better than everyone else. So yeah, so suck it, suck it, sticks, <laughs> suck it, sticks. We're all different. I need to start writing out intros for this, but I realize I can just ramble and then edit it no, down later. It doesn't matter. Anyways, our five is... fans love mm, what we do. Right. <laughs> we have seven subscribers, so we just need to get one more person involved each time we put out a new one from now on. <laughs> <laughs> and then we make a penny every time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so sticks, the grand illusion. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, tell us about how so, you know sticks. Uh, Ninety-nine five, the eagle. So from like junior high up until I think like two thousand eleven or twelve was when they ended. But whatever, that was my classic rock station. I listened to that obsessively. That's where I got all my classic rock and crap and me and my friend will we briefly became obsessed with sticks mo- just their greatest hits pretty much and a, f- and a few odd songs here and there but i wore out a few copies of their greatest hits they're one of those bands that's when they're good they're good i love dennis de young i think he's one of the cheesiest songwriters ever uh-huh. and I, me- I mean that in a really endearing way they're like the anti-queen where queen had this sense of they had like giant balls and they had, it was always tongue-in-cheek, where there was a camp factor. I mean, Queen are better musicians, but they're not out of the same sphere. It's just that Sticks took themselves pretty seriously most of the time. Maybe not seriously, but it was always straightforward. I just felt like Queen I sounds like that. they had money and time. Everything you read about them is just like, they give them a year to make an album or something. Yeah. And Sticks was a little bit more American, like, we're mm-hmm. on a schedule, let's, you know, you better have that Get ready to go when you come into the... <laughs> yeah. But Sticks, Sticks, Sticks had an earnestness to them that I always found really fascinating. And we, we both saw them live, what was that, two years ago? Coliseum. Yeah, a few years ago. Great live act. I think I just liked them in theory because great live show. I've loved most of everything I've heard, but I've never listened to any of their studio albums until today. <laughs> I mean, I've heard Grand Illusion. That's it. Oh, oh, Kilroy was here. So I've heard Kilroy was here and Grand Illusion, but I had to do some homework for this. So I listened to uh, Crystal Balls, uh, the one with Pieces the old... Pieces of Eight. Pieces of Eight, and the one before Crystal Balls. Yeah. 
Uh, so let's talk about this album. I mean, just an intro to it. This was uh, this was, was their breakthrough, 70... obviously. 77. 77? So before that, uh, so they had f- Wait, I, I, I didn't get four... to tell what how I know about it. Go ahead. Give me a minute. It's a very short album, so we might as well eat, yeah. chew some time up. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm it. trying to have a professional intro this time. Well, yeah, it would be nice if it was. I at screwed least. the pooch last time. My dad had the half track master of Grand Illusion on album, which means they uh, recorded it at a quarter of the speed originally. I, st- I still don't understand how that works. Well, what they do is they slow it down so there's no tape hiss, and it's kind of like what they do now for CDs. They take the original tapes. And they record them very slowly, so there's no sound in, like, when you're listening to it on headphones. There's not that background of dragging across the head of the tape. Mm -hmm. If you drag it really slowly, it disappears. It's not there. The slower you do it, the the less drag there is. So they had this thing that they came out with in the, before CDs, and my dad had a few of those albums, and one of them was The Grand Illusion. Mm -hmm. And that's why I liked it a lot. I heard it many times when I was a kid. And I loved the sound of it when he played it on the, you know, he put it on the turntable and he'd play it. Before CDs, that was when I got to hear exactly how they intended you to hear it. Mm-hmm. Not, yeah. not all chewed up. You know what I mean? No. Because I don't <laughs> understand how the technology works. <laughs> well, 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 I've, I've heard was... about this uh, in other places besides you. I just don't quite understand. Okay. The... Well, basically how it worked was you record everything and everything's on tracks. Yeah. You know tracks, right? Yeah, they I, still use that. I, term, I, I, still don't, don't, I still don't understand the theory behind like how there's okay, there's tape hiss, but how slowing it down somehow you can dub, you can you can transfer that and it somehow removes it. It was a way I to don't. sell you a ten dollar album for twenty four dollars. Does that make sense? Sure. <laughs> it's kind of like how 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 they bring out an anniversary edition of a Beatles album and they say. Oh, we've cleaned it up. It sounds so much better now. Well, why didn't you do that to begin with? That's what it was. It's the same thing. They do it now. They just... Back then, it was called a half-track master. Mm. And you knew it because it had this yellow ribbon across the top of it. That's a whole other topic. uh, Yeah. um, Remasters, which I do not like. Like the ones the police put out in around like 2007... It, oh yeah, it, Ghost in the Machine. My dad had that one too. It it, it like it fundamentally changes the character of the song. So I, I guess that falls in more in the remix category. But they clean it up and then they all they did they was clean it the up. Mix. They didn't change it. Just sound, anything, it sounds different because I've heard them and it drives me nuts because you fall in love with basically not just the song but the character of how it's recorded. Sure. All right. No, I'm, I'm with you on that. Album. All right. Here we go. 1977, Styx. I want to uh, do some context of here. So this was Styx, like, fourth or fifth album. Dix's, Dix's, This was their second one with Tommy Shaw. So I want to give some context to it, because today I listened to the two uh, albums that preceded it. One was Crystal Balls and Mesmerize or Crystal something. Crystal Balls. It was, Crystal Balls is like a weird anomalous album. Like, it's really, really bad. I don't know how to talk about sticks. Okay. I don't know how to talk about it. I just like it. So there's the three albums. Number three, which we're doing now, is Grand Illusion. G.I. The one before it was a hot steaming pile of garbage, and the one before it was slightly better. That was one that had Lorelei on it. So Tommy Shaw, this was his second album with the band, and I think he finally felt welcome in the band or finally developed some songwriting chops and he started to push himself forward so that Dennis DeYoung didn't have to do everything and also Dennis DeYoung Dennis, Dennis DeYoung came up with a uh, his songwriting started to evolve too so he wasn't just singing about like frou-frou love bullshit because you look at most of the stuff he wrote before there it was it was just like yay there's a lady and we're doing a thing and um so I think he matured as a songwriter Tommy Shaw matured as a songwriter, and Styx, uh, they finally got out of, of Yes's shadow and stopped being, I don't think they were imitating them, but they finally got out of their shadow and they decided, okay, 
let's get rid of the prog rock, the classical prog rock element and the folk stuff. Let's chop out the superfluous bullshit and let's just do anthems. And so they figured out that very, that thing we think of when you think of sticks, which is like, marching and oh, a little bit like Queen, cool musical, but a little bit yeah, like a little... Queen, but with, with less crotch thrusting. No, yeah, it's a little more American. It's yeah. like if if Queen existed in America, right? Uh, you still got to get played on the radio to get any time. <laughs> so the hit machine started because I think their only hit before that was Lorelei, I guess. I didn't look back that far, but I don't know. They were really album oriented before this. Yeah, like they didn't. They weren't going for top forty at all. And I was just very much getting a yes sense from it, but without the virtuosity. Like they were almost there, but not quite. But then, all right, here's the grand illusion: the shortest concept album of all time. <laughs> and do you have any thoughts about the concept? I wonder if people might want to listen to this in terms of a zombie apocalypse. Nah, never mind. (laughs) Sure. I've completely given up the pretense of the follow-along thing. That was pretty good, though. It's going to be great. I would like to give my theory of the concept of The Grand Illusion. Mm -hmm. What is The Grand Illusion? It is. Well, I'm going to start with the album cover, which is there's a weird... There's a weird horse with a deer with a woman's face, and she comes out and says, You don't understand how things work. Here's the deeper level, the deeper meaning of shit. And then an a- the angry young man comes out, and then his favorite band comes out, and they take him on a spaceship, and they fly away to a Miss America pageant, and then they end up in the wilderness in a castle, and that's it. It doesn't go anywhere. Holy shit. So there's supposed to be a whole second half of this album they just didn't bother to make because... I don't think Styx likes to make albums. If it doesn't right, work, whatever. I'm Here's the Grand here. Illusion, bitches. This is the seventh album, by the way. Grand Illusion. It's you're you're into a really nice theatrical thing right here. Like we're we're on yeah. to something. It's it, just like, right up, captures your attention right off the bat, right? and then Dennis DeYoung's hideous piercing voice sh- shrieks. No, in. don't be <laughs> Wait a minute. Welcome to the Grand Illusion, you stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> I love Dennis DeYoung. There, there's nobody mm-hmm. else who sounds remotely like him. That's why I love him. Yeah, it's where Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Sticks, sticks Club Sticks. <laughs> uh... Where's... Okay, but don't um, be fooled by the radio. Um, ten-year-old me or whatever I was when I heard this, really liked it though. I really thought this was awesome. Not realizing that they were, it was very similar to. It's very, it's kind of like a musical a little bit. It's like a tiny little musical. It's a short little. Yeah, it doesn't. Story. It doesn't. It never feels like a musical though. But but it has that quality. I understand what you mean. So they cr- they created their niche here. Like that that that's most great art is when a band or an or an artist or whoever can create their specific niche. And up until this point, they always felt like like a yes imitator. So they you can still hear those elements of of like swaggery uh, glam rock and prog rock, but it became distinctly American and sort of like this straight laced thing you can put in a frame. Right. Where they chop off all the little superfluous flowers and bits and pieces. Yeah. Where it, it doesn't. This album doesn't meander. It's just here it is, Chashika. It's like a. It's like a a, a skyscraper of what albums. I, okay. Can I say what I like about Sticks is this is a great example of how it they're trying to be artistic, but at the same time they know we're Americans. We like electric guitars and we like. We like things to be in your face and almost march music e or you know it's like we've in, we've invented march music you know oh god it's a bit it's sort we of love it's, it. it's sort of beach boysy in a here super vague way <laughs> here and there yeah i know what you mean but it's like we like the driving beats yeah we're americans we like we like things to be immediate and in your face 
And, you know, there's nothing subtle here. It's a declarative song. The, the first song of every album is always declarative. Mm. It, it sets the tone for the album. I've said that a million times. But, you know, I know what they're doing. I get it. But at the same time, this is a really good one. I can't believe this hadn't been turned into a musical at some point. It's very. It's a very soft declarative song. I, ooh, that's that's great. The way the synthesizers swish back and forth, left, right. Yeah, all that thumping is Ziggy. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> he loves this song. I love the drumming on this. I don't know the oh, drummer. Yeah. It's the brothers. There's the two brothers. Yeah. Like, the, the Mastro Donatos or whatever they're they're like Italian or Greek or drum in the bass baby yeah. drum in the bass yeah they're, they're the uh, the other Van Halen so how come this band wasn't named like Mastro Gen- Genato or whatever their names are because I assume they founded the bands usually <laughs> because bro- that's brothers always found bands like marketable like tuna all right that was Grand Illusion <laughs> here's a uh, yeah get right in angry there. young man. So, Get right in there. So they're the only brother duo that didn't. F- maybe they did. Maybe it wait, was wait, like wait, wait. Dynasty Young. I like this part. Great. <laughs> For you at this home listening. This is a listening. rock song. For you at home with... listening, I'm playing air synthesizer. Yeah, it's like synthesizer, but like, what, what would you call that? Like, uh, it's synthesized. Um, uh, what's that? Th- what? Man- Mannheim no. Steamroller. What's that? Uh, it's a synthesizer. What's that instrument? Yeah, but like the the, cole- the not kaleidoscope, whatever it's called. It just sounds like a synthesizer. Meow 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 meow. I can't think of a real life analog to whatever this sounds like. It's just. Oh my god! I just figured it out. This whole album is like cats. a stringed instrument. Cats. If cats could play instruments, this is what it would sound like. Wiener, wiener, wiener. <laughs> Come see the way to my well, maybe litter it, box. Come see the way. Maybe what you're thinking of is like it is a good analog, like a, a synthetic analog. This was the strings. first album that I ever heard that. I'm sorry. Because you could probably the do most of this. The first album that I ever heard that was. Um, had synthesizers in it that I liked, like as a as even as a kid, that I went. This sounds good to my ear, you know, because people had invented them, but I hadn't heard anybody do anything great with it yet. Man, and it wasn't that they had somebody hadn't done it; they just weren't playing it here, you know. <laughs> well, like, you take. You take, you take rock, <laughs> like heavy synthesizer rock. And you're fooling um, yourself and you don't believe it. Tell me about it. And you're killing yourself and you meow, don't believe meow, it. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> Get See? Up. Sounds like Cats no, made early. a song. This does sound like the musical Cats. Meow. <laughs> I lost what I was going to say. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> oh, but yeah, uh, rock synthesizer. Genesis used them tastefully, and then you got the big bloated arena rock stuff. Where I hate Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I like, I like, I like Knife Edge. That's a great song. I like Lucky Man. So there's a handful of songs, but for the most part, they annoy me. I hate the way they use synthesizers, and I think I they, they reached like a nice Pete balance Townsend, here. And I love his music. I love when he uses synthesizers. I love when he makes music. But I know as a person, I don't like him. And that's when you know you really like somebody's, what they're making, right? It, it's, it's like when you can go. Anyway. So they were just going for the young, for the... Uh, they're playing with... For, Synthesizers. For, for the uh, high schooler with disposable income audience here, they're like, you wish you were famous? Step right up. <laughs> I know you're angry, but you shouldn't be. Buy our album. Musically, this is the, the, the darts Whee! that you throw at the balloons. You try to pop a balloon. <laughs> the, the, yeah, it's, 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 it's the carnival atmosphere of step right up. You want to be a part of this thing we're making. Yeah. Yay. Or maybe the BB gun. Or, or maybe yeah. the uh, 
Uh, oh God, I'm having flashbacks. On the East Coast, they had the water gun that you had to shoot in or something. I'm having flashbacks to the time the guy touched me in the tunnel of love. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to bring that up. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Everybody's been touched by a dude in the love tunnel. <laughs> Why did you go in the love tunnel without a love? <laughs> So I think I'm becoming mildly nihilistic about art. I think I think everybody has like one good thing in them, unless you're the Beatles or the Stones, but or Zeppelin, whatever. Unless you're the extreme rarity, you have that one great thing in you. And I think this was that one great sticks thing, where they were firing on all cylinders. Yeah. And, and so they got out of Yes's shadow, and they found just that. <laughs> they found that sweet spot where they're not, where it's they're, they're not, you know, tinkering on the edges of trying to sound like some other they're band, not contemporary like band. Anybody else? You've totally got that right. So it's not the greatest album of all time, but there's nothing else that really sounds like Grand Illusion, and that's the highest compliment I can give. to It, it. was the greatest album of that minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about before. Oh wait, we're ready for a oh, new yeah. song. That was a great song. That was Hey Don't Touch Yourself. Here's Superstars. So this is this is when the angry young man who wishes he was famous meets his idols, I think. That's what the lyrics to this are. Free skate. Yeah, you don't get the couple skate on this song. (laughs) Do you think they were actually harmonizing or did you think do you think somebody was like bringing it in? It's a lot of Dennis DeYoung on out to the side, and I assume uh, Tommy Shaw's like sort of in the middle a little bit. But, okay, but most of it is Dennis DeYoung. What I always wonder is when I listen to these things, and I'm just like, how? Like, is that just one guy doing it over and over and over again, and trying to make it li- only, layering o- it? And only, stuff, if you're, only if you're Michael McDonald. Like it sounds a little better. I, I feel like no. You, th- th- this is. I just feel like stereo. in your head you kind of know. Don't you feel like you kind of know when that's when, just, that's when just, somebody that's just stereo layer when it's like a guy layering himself over and over again versus somebody harmonizing and I've, bringing in somebody to sing with him. I've done this so many times. I can tell he's it's double tracked, but double okay. double tracked. So he's he's singing with himself twice. But okay. they doubled the double track and put it on the peripheries. There you go. And Tommy Shaw is in there somewhere because he's lead he's the lead singer of the yeah. song. So, no, I, I I hate to say it. it I, I'm I'm saying it's a bad thing. It, I, no, I know. It, it's just it's like well, you know, some of these guys bring in all these singers because they want this real weird depth because every voice is like a fingerprint. It's different. And, and, and that's what, like, the early queen sounds like, as opposed to the later queen. I still don't know how they and did a lot of their Sting, harmonies and stuff. Usually and I can Sticks sort of figure it out. But. is just like, like, I don't know. I don't know what they did. I don't get it. But. Well, most of it's just Dennis the Young's voice. He has, like, such amazing high-range clarity like few other singers, so it just makes it sound more complicated than it really is. Ooh, I'm getting hit in both of my ears. She's heading this way. She's bringing... Isn't that one of the songs on this album? Heading this way! Probably not. (laughs) Next time! This is one of the few times we've done this where I like the album more Mm -hmm. now that I'm listening to it this time. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. You're catching me on a good day, even though I'm horribly underslept and cranky. Yeah, you are cranky and underslept. This is great. Damn, this is really tight. Um, it sounds all right, that good. Was, uh, yeah. Like, I'm trying to think of another band who trimmed the fat more from one album to the Less next. Is more? Because the album before this, that Crystal Balls is god-awful. So, it may be, uh, ooh, here's Come Sail Away. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna take a break. I gotta tinkle. Bush tastes the same as, or costs the same as whatever. 
try this Natty Light. And I'm like, all right. Is, so I tried it. Is this different? Because this stuff seems more like like translucent and jelly, and it has like a nicer smell. No. Than whatever I've smelled before. No. Anyway, this is sponsored. Same one's been sitting there. You can. You can guess at home, vapor rub. Vapor rub. No, but but there is but there is whatever we. Uh, Menthol in petroleum no, this jelly. This is definitely j- jellier. The ones we, the one I have at my place is like like a pastier. Anyway. Oh, did right. you get that at the dollar store? <laughs> What's the next this song? This is probably made out of animals. Oh, we're on come sail away. Okay. What we're gonna talk about is I want to go work at a Russian troll farm where they <laughs> where they spam our elections. I want to be a troll. What's funny is it's probably a bunch of Indians. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Russians are as cheap as Indians. That's the funny part. <laughs> they don't cost anything. All right. So what I was talking about before with this album, uh, 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 it's perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So tran- transition album transitions f- from Crystal Balls, which is god awful and thirty four minutes long, to Grand Illusion. The only thing closer I can think of is Pink Floyd. Their preceding three albums before Dark Side of the Moon were Umagama, Obscured by Cl- Metal, and Obscured by Clouds. They're all good, but none of them even remotely inform that leap in creative logic. Especially obscured by clouds. Like, metal's really good. Umagama's just a soundtrack to an album. Whatever. All right. I don't think they're good at all. I think all of them suck. I don't... Yeah, but that... I'm just really fascinated by, like, huge leaps in quality from one album to the other. All right. Here's the greatest karaoke song of all time. That's not Meatloaf. Yeah! I didn't if even you, know if you, if you who the know, hell if you, Sticks was... And then there was the Grand Illusion. It didn't even come up on my childhood radar. Let's just, was, let's just sing the whole thing through. Uh, let's not even talk over it. I'm just going to sing it. We're going to get sued unless they just think that's embarrassingly stupid. Well, well I'm going to test the limits of, of the mm-hmm. thing. I, I don't think, I thought I, I'm sailing. I, 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 think, I think it's just if you put the actual song in there. Their software searches for that. So you can you can do like a, a acapella karaoke Time? thing. Sure. Emergency. Yeah, you can just mu- make up some shit. Because I Bye. got to be free. Free to huff some vapor rub that's in front of me. On board, there's the ziglet. So climb aboard. <laughs> he shakes it off. There's nothing to talk about. This is this is this is, this, this song will happen when the if if you believe in the 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 biblical rapture the the biblical rapture if you believe holy if you believe in the biblical rapture if you believe in the biblical rapture this is the song that will play when Christ returns I look to the sea and the biblical rapture. There's a whole other topic that I am yeah, can't really discuss right now, but um, <laughs> how sometimes an artist can imitate somebody else, but still make it their own. Where it sounds like whoever they're imitating, but for some reason they do it really well. But then there's the genuine, unique thing. Where there's nothing that sounds like "Come Sail Away," right? I can't even begin to think of anything. Most of the stuff that Dennis DeYoung writes, like Mr. Roboto, like the stuff's so stupid. Yeah. And I mean that in a real, I mean that in a really, like, positive way. I'm not being shitty. Like, it's really stupid. You can't <laughs> play this song in a bathhouse without paying royalties. Probably. I'm going to beat you in this branch while we listen to this song. <laughs> <laughs> above my... So we're at that point in the concept album when the aliens come down is this is this an album about aliens yeah. yeah this is how you make a rock star by being aliens ah this is a really long 38 minute album <laughs> oh my god now it's a long album so so it's this kid that wants to be a rock star or wants to be famous mm. and then 
like aliens come down. They're like, let us expand your mind. You don't understand how things work. Let us take you into the cosmos. Do do <laughs> Do the synthesizer part with your mouth. You sound like the guy from E-Man. <laughs> Skeletor. Yes. Good. Excellent. Emperor Palpatine. Let's all look at Tila's butt. <laughs> Strike me down. I like cartoon butts. Your, your precious rebel fleet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to knock down your... I'm sorry, but this battle station is fully operational. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> I saw a great meme, by the way, about uh, Darth Vader. It's like, don't you wish when somebody you work with pissed Uh-oh. you off, you could just strangle the shit out of them with your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody does that. They just can't actually do it. Yeah, Darth Vader can do it. <laughs> Sing it, ready? I thought that there were f***ing angels above my f***ing head. They sang to me this stupid song. This is the first time I've truly enjoyed myself on one of these podcasts. This album is the sh- Come sail away. Come sail away, come sail away with me, bitches. We're only on the fourth song, and it feels like I've been here for days and days. Oh my god, I did that, and then I just realized, how f- hilarious would that be if you would have been in a strip club and somebody had been stripping to this song? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's a, it's a con- Come sail away with me. <laughs> it's a concept album about a kid who wants to be a superstar, and then... He gets abducted by aliens, or he gets abducted by sticks. Unless he's uh, a stripper. <laughs> and then he's like, hey, come sail away with me, stripper. Did they ever do like a like an hour-long version of that song? Because I want the whole thing. It feels like it sort of just peters out when it could keep no, going. No, that's not what they did back then. All right, that was Come Sail Away. Here's Miss America, the only legitimately cool stick song. They're great stick songs, but this is the only one that's legitimately, like, cool. Oh, here it is. Never come at- Except for the first ten seconds, the synthesizers are dumb. But I, so I assume this is supposed to be a concept album. But I don't understand what like the transition is between. So they got abducted by aliens. Chris is in the hisus. Yeah, we're screwed now. So I don't understand what the, the party's it, over. So like the alien <laughs> abduction, or you can think of it as like they got taken away by a record. Executive. Well, if you take everything, if it's a metaphor, literally. I'm, all right, I'm, I'm I'm thinking of both ways. It's either an alien or a record executive. I like to think that you could take it either so, way. So where does Miss America come into play here? Uh, I need a song that can play on the radio. We're doing Sticks's uh, Grand Illusion. It feels like we've been doing it for hours and hours, but we're only <laughs> five songs in. Well, Miss that America. Like, that's exactly right. Like, I haven't had to ring the. I haven't had to. I haven't had to ring the filler bell once. Whoa. Miss America. I can't hear you. Miss America. Yeah, the drums on this song are perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah. Holy crap! This album. It's a really short. All right, to bring you back up to speed, the audience and Crystal J. Kinnear. This is the shortest concept album of all time. There are only eight tracks, and it's only like 38 minutes long. Where was I going with that? I don't know. I'm just waiting to see where this plane lands. Oh, yeah, lands. yeah. Th- this, is, this is the first... <laughs> and I'm trying to think of the best... Yeah. And I and I even listened to most of this earlier this week, and I was like, eh, whatever. Yeah, it's better than you yeah. thought it was. Yeah, there, there's been. It's thirty ma- mate, thirty mate, ma- 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 To be fair, <laughs> to be to be fair, I only listened to the songs that I've not heard on this album, so I didn't listen to it like continuously all the way through. Yeah, there's your problem. So in context, yeah, this is the. Sh- I don't know how the, those last three are gonna go. Cause, yeah, yeah so who's this, this guitar player? 
Um, Who's that guy? Uh, he, he's playing young. Like, I know his, I know his last name. Something Young. It's like it's like John Young. Yeah. I don't know how to describe drumming because I'm not a drummer. But yeah, this is suck. Awesome. You're not a bassist but and yeah. you're not a drummer. <laughs> and what? Yeah. What? <laughs> so I cannot believe I'm loving this this much. We might actually get through an entire album without me bitching or ringing the filler bell. Miss America! Uh, the song is the perfect epicenter of, of sticks. Because there's not too much Dennis DeYoung and there's not too much Charlie Murphy yeah. or whatever his name was. Charlie Murphy, yeah. What's his name? The other dude. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Paul McCartney had a good song called Miss America. It sounds nothing like this, but... All right, here, here's the weird, ambiguous part of the album. I've, I've heard it, but I heard it today. So this last little part, it might we might be entering Fillerville. I don't know. Oh. No, but I did listen to it, and it was fine. <laughs> but it feels and like... And then it, it leans in and, and gets, like... But it feels like it's tacked on to sort of make this a concept album. Yeah, the only concept album that I ever heard that I always thought, I like this... And it means something is the wall. If I can listen to it all the way through, like a, like a, God, that's horrible. <laughs> but I can listen to the Beatles, um, the White Album. That's another good one. That's a good concept album. You can listen to all the way through. And then, uh, well, the only concept of that is the. The only concept is that they decided to do some like a never ending album. I'm talking about like within itself, like recurring themes, like a musical where okay, there. What's a concept where, album? Where, then? Where, where there's a, where there's a there's a there's like an over. Going there's back an, to a continuing theme, you said you you set up the rules for it. <laughs> no, no, but 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 like, if you're gonna bring up like white album, like what's what's the internal recurring theme? Because I've never thought about it other than that. Jesus. Other than the, the concept, you're the one who set the rules up. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's over. I quit the podcast. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about this song. No, I want the song to be over. It, f- it feels like filler, but I've I've enjoyed it. <sighs> it's a stretched out song. It doesn't feel like anything else. It's just a. It's 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 the one sort of drawn out point in the album, and it works. Cause there's typically... so many songs that, like this in the seventies. I can go pull you a an album right now by a band called Angel that sounds exactly like this. They're good at playing their instruments. Oh, this is still the same song. It's just. No, I like this though because. But it was because like... up, up until this point, it's so high concept. Do you want to listen it, to filler, or do you want to listen to something that you can? Hey, I'm grab the, op- a hold of? I'm the optimistic one this time. Yay! <laughs> no, I like this because up until this point, the album is so like regimental and perfect. It's just like yay, high concept, and then yeah, it, I don't and, like then, this. and then it just gets to. So to me, this isn't filler. It's like a, it's an actual nice break, or it's just taking a nice little break towards the end it's not just all right here's something we yeah, but i get annoyed by it i'm just done with it because th- this this feels natural it doesn't feel like something they kind of begrudgingly tacked on i the know end. they really went and found all the musical whatever they call it change, although although I have, n- I have no idea <laughs> can you look up like, the li- can someone look up the lyrics of this because i have no idea how this how this all correlates into a what the concept of this is. There's a l- boy that goes to a concert and wishes he was famous and then gets abducted by aliens. Are you sure you didn't make that up? Well, that's just what I've gathered from <laughs> listening to this. Oh, this is just what he's gathered, so... <laughs> Why are you screaming in my ear? <laughs> what album are we talking about? All right, there was ten. There was fifteen seconds worth of filler there. What's the next song? Um, next song is Castle Walls. So this is brought to you by Mentholiptus Rub. I don't know. I'm loving it. 
Maybe, <laughs> maybe I finally huffed enough vapor rub. <laughs> this is a great album. It's not bad at all. I don't know why you got to be a jerk about it. <laughs> I'm not being the jerk. I think this whole thing is brilliant. Oh. I was, I was bitching about there only being 38 minutes or whatever, but it's perfectly length. <laughs> Not at all like my wiener. I'm going to edit that out. Who's your lyrics? Man in the wilderness. <laughs> what kind of man have I become? Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Introspection. It's boring. It's filler. I should have rang the bell. <laughs> I'll admit it. I've never heard it this album the purple. entire way through. This album's genius. I was like, Ooh, dude, why is this only 38 <laughs> minutes long? Because they're geniuses, and they understood it only needed to be 38 minutes long. That's what I said about Van Halen, but you won't listen to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't say that. Nobody's ever said that. That's stupid. Oh, I have. Oh. Don't get me started. How do I, how do, I do a nice filler bell? Because I don't, I, I don't want to give this full filler bell. Because it makes sense. I'll use my, pe- my hair pencil. There, thank you. The one thing I will say is it's not quite long enough. There's no real finale to this album. I mean, they have this song called "The Grand Finale," well, but it, but it's only finale. but it's only a minute and fifty eight seconds long. So it kind of peters out. If they had taken the time to do one more great song before, yeah, that's what's missing. Is this song does not have a the day in the life. It sounds like the grand finale might be. Yeah, it's unfinished. Finale. Uh, that was Castle Walls. I have no idea what it no, was. No, no, no. I mean the Grand Illusion, the last song on the album. The grand finale. The grand finale. So, it's so like the it, grand it, finale should have been greater and more grander and more grandiose. That's what's frustrating. Is it's getting into more. It feels like the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. If the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway had ended like 60% of the way through the album. Because <laughs> it's starting to get into like that that really heady, deep... If you were listening to this super stoned or something, you would probably hit the last song and be like, what, that's it? Oh yeah. I, I love the, 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 the Tom hits on this. It sounds like they're starting to go into taking away the moments that make up the dull day. Yeah. Yeah. But I think this is a... Th- it's, a, a it's, great example. It sounds of, like they're. Uh, I made a to joke do, uh, about it earlier, but I think I loved Van Halen. It was, was awesome, and they like they fed into what was coming better than anybody else. You want to hear a great concept album? Van Halen's Fair Warning. Boom, great album. All about living on the wrong side of the tracks. In a. No, but it starts to get super cool there. But you're almost right. done, you're like almost done with this song. They they just didn't do enough with this. Yeah. It's just not long enough. They were so close. Like, don't get me wrong. This is the first one where I've, I've, I haven't had a nervous breakdown while listening to. Like, it's a really damn good album. They just didn't quite go far enough. This could have been a truly great album, and it's not. I love like, this may, album. May, maybe, maybe two more songs. Because it starts to descend into... I knew like, like, like all a, the albums were this long. It wasn't... No, but you know, you know, like somebody was standing in the background, going, like, you know, ticking their watch and going. I know, I know, but but you come on, you're 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 spending too much time. So maybe maybe it's not their fault. It wasn't. So other bands had the luxury of of having you know like a few pop songs at the beginning, like this big grand intro. Oh, it's super accessible, but then it has this sort of descent into an emotional journey, and they just didn't have the luxury of doing that. Because that's where it feels like it starts to go into something that should, where you're you're in this sort of tunnel and having this journey, and then you Maybe. come out of it. But there's it, there's no coming out of it. It's just like, oh, we ran out of time. We're it'd sort be of in there. To find Let's out just if, sort of jump to this ending. It'd be interesting to find out if they ran out of Let's time. Let's call up what's his face, uh, Patrick White, Dennis oh, Dion, not Dennis, the other guy. All right, this is Todd the, the grand finale. Finally, the tiny finale. Pap- Papillon. We are totally Sean White. Jack White. It was the guitarist from Sticks. Let me find the interwebs. Uh, yeah, we can call him. 
Yeah, let's call him and find out. Did hey, you, what the f*** were you guys thinking? Did you, did, you, did, you, album? did you mention he was from <laughs> Chicago? Hey. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> Chuck yeah. used to party with all these guys all the time. All the guys from the Chicago bands, they all hang out at the same bar. Oh. Are we talking about Tommy Shaw? <laughs> he pass out on you. Yeah. He was fighting it, but he's out. Are we talking about Tommy Shaw? Yeah, Tommy Shaw. Let's call him. You can probably look, right. look him up in the Chicago... Uh... See if he's got it in the directory. We'll call him up. <laughs> look, probably got him in the Yellow Pages. Look him up in the Chicago Yellow Pages. It'll be a Tommy Shaw. And he'll be like, Hi? <laughs> Ready? Ring me up. Go. This <laughs> happens all the goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Click. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he I, wasn't the Tommy Shaw he I guess was looking for. It's like, mm. Would you like me to try again? That's another. Oh, another thing I noticed when I was listening to this earlier. This album ends on the same chord as Genesis Duke does. Seriously? Jesus. I know. We're talking. <laughs> All right. That was Grand Illusion. It, it peters out. It was two songs away from being a. Tr- no, this is this is the beginning of Crystal Ball. <laughs> oh, make it stop. I hate this album. Okay. All right. So, f- what are your uh, thoughts pop- on. Grand Illusion, the really greatest good. Dicks album ever made. This was the first one we've done where I haven't bitched about any of the songs. Nope. I, I enjoyed the crap out of it, like, actually better than the first time. That was actually the first time I've listened to the entire thing. I mean, I've heard all the hits, which is most of the album, but it needed, a, like, a real conclusion. It's all, it's almost there, because it go. I like when an album... It's very grandiose, and it takes you on that journey. And then you get into the boat. You go on the little boat ride. But you take the boat to the other side of the river, and then you have a good grand conclusion. They tacked on a, a they tacked on a conclusion, but it was so close. Like, maybe one, two more songs, and it'd be a truly great album. It's a very good album. I give it 8.87777 out of 10. All right. I've always loved this album. I've loved every minute of it since I was a kid. I usually fell asleep in the second half of the album somewhere. (laughs) That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means it's wonderful and comfortable and and familiar. And it's kind of like listening to classical music when you're going to sleep. It's like, that's not bad. That's good. (laughs) You know, it's like, I... Definitely would strain to stay awake <laughs> for the first half. <laughs> but isn't that the point of the album? Is for like the sophomore boys listening to it? To they're like, eh. or, or they're smoking their their dube, and they're like, eh, I wish I was famous. And then they fall asleep and they dream of of working. They pretended of working at that parties. wasn't what it was, but yeah. Aww. Is this, is this to make up for you trying to bite my hands and hump my nuts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I called it. Are we dating now? Yeah. <laughs> the dog is All dating. Right. Give your parting thoughts. Just just say anything you'd like to to Nancy. She's still the only listener. We haven't had another <laughs> subscriber <laughs> since Nancy. Nancy, tell your friends. I got a raise. I went to two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listen to my boss. Like and I got a raise. <laughs> I do not make those decisions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, that's it. Talking about we're done with sticks, sticks. The Grand Illusion. I loved it. Yeah. He loved it. He loved Don't it. listen to him. He's an idiot. And Chris loves it too. I didn't really hear it. But you love it. It was great. The two and a half songs were terrific. Yeah. There you go. Good night, folks. We can do Wilson Phillips. What album are we talking about? 